got that eye figured out. A little too big on the eye. Smaller. I've been, I've been teaching myself all kinds of tricks on this. It's amazing how simple drawing is on one hand and how hard it is on the other. It really is. Are you the kind of guy who um, knows what he's drawing or is, and, or is you just let the drawing take you wherever it goes or is it a combination of both? A little bit of both. Um, like I, I usually draw from stuff, although I have been slowly experimenting with more and more of my original stuff. Um, in terms of modeling and scaling, right? Um, in terms of modeling and scaling, it's been, uh, huh? It's really weird they did it that way. Kind of makes sense, but kind of doesn't. Um, I think that interesting drawing to do for Alice, like the model it from, but the hand is in such an odd, odd spot. Oh, well, this isn't turning out very well. It just doesn't have to turn out perfect. In fact, it's okay. In fact, in fact, sometimes that works out better that it doesn't turn out perfect. You know, I've, uh, I've been learning all kinds of little things about what makes it seem real, what makes it seem less, and, and often it's it's that willingness to uh, just do different things and just try different things and. And sometimes you just embrace it too, right? And as my sister often would joke with me, make it a bird, make it a bird. It'll work yeah. out. Yeah, you know, um, it is what it is. I have been, uh, like I said, I've been, I've been teaching myself little by little how to uh, get more out of, the, do more with the, uh, with the art so I can tell a fun story. Now, doesn't mean I get it all right, because I certainly don't get it all right, but um, it is what it is. And uh, that that's kind of how I see it. As for me, as for you, how about you? Like, do you have like a clear like story you want to tell with your images, or do you just like just I want to draw it because it's awesome? I would have to say a little bit of both. Um, I tend to visualize the page or the drawing first, like so you see it in my head, and then kind of look down at the paper and try to imagine that drawing there. And then, in a sense, almost tracing my own imagination. Yeah. Drawing. Yeah. It. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Kind of. Yeah, it's kind of confused. It's kind of hard to explain. But uh, basically, I think of uh, the image that I want, and then I'll draw it out. And instead of letting the image tell me where it wants to go, I tell it where it wants to go. Uh. Of course, though, like some surprises happen along the way. Like, uh, what's his name? Uh, like Bob Ross says, like happy accidents. Yeah, oh, yeah. They're, the best so, things. they're the best things in the world. Like those those happy accidents. Yeah. So that sometimes that happens during a, a planned drawing, and then I then there's your spontaneity or whatever. No, I. Some of the best accidents and some of the best things in life happen because of accidents. Yeah. Sticky nose. Here's, here's slinkies. another sketch. Yay. This one's, this, this one's rude as Axiom Man in a kind of a fully cloaked pose. Axiom Man's my superhero that I invented, the one that we talked about last time. Yes. 
So as 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 your voice has changed, you, your voice has evolved for sure, right? Has you're talking, actually, right, you're talking writing voice, writing voice, just even storytelling voice. Like we, one thing I, I I've I've learned as I've gotten older is, um, but like like my voice kind of like what's important to me right changes a little bit right not right. completely because you never completely not change but but there's that there's that moment and it's not too bad for the first time i don't think definitely definitely learned a lot drawing this but uh but one one of the reasons one of the reasons why I've been like drawing is because it's, it's given me it gives me a different um, look and feeling of, of when I tell my writing too it gives, it gives my writing a little bit more depth. So suddenly I get you, language and story in a way I never would have. How long have you been drawing for? Three months. That's cool. Yeah. What what made you want to start? I promised. Um, I made a promise. Um, my sister bought me a, I, this was a time, this, this time was, was a time where, where you could do something new if you wanted to do something new. Um, because really if it doesn't work out, big deal, right? It, it's not the end of the world, especially right now. It's just like, whatever. So I'm like, well, what can I do? What am I made of? What can I see? And and so I had the pandemic when I came back that came back here. Um, you know, uh, my sister drove me down to Windsor, and and she went to me and you know, um, hey, cool, Jessica, Jessica says hi. So hi, Jessica. Hi, Jessica. Yeah. Um. But uh, what happens is, um, so she did, on the way she got, we went to a Walmart in Mississauga, oh yeah, Mississauga, London, Ontario, and there I got some supplies, and we hung out for a little bit, and she's like, yeah, I'm curious to see what you do. Now, for the first few months during the pandemic, I, I I didn't do anything with it, and I was like, okay, I can't I can't not do something with it because if I that I would. I keep my promises if I can. It's just that's that's who right. I am. And uh, so the show. Once I now this this coincided with the fact that I realized, like for me, the show is my niche. 